today I'm going to talk about the number one lesson that I quickly learned as an orphan. And so I just want to start the video. Yay! Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Svetlana and in this particular se series, I am talking about my very special and unique life situation. I call it a past life series. Struggling today because it's um, really a life that I honestly can't even believe that I lived as a as a child and as a teenager. And so, if you don't know anything about me, I am from Ukraine. I was, um, you could say, born, <laughs> but raised for sure in an orphanage in Ukraine and although I live here in US today and I'm so very blessed and my life is completely different than what it used to be um, like I said I still can't believe that I had that past life and today I just wanted to talk about that a little bit more I have a few sticky notes <laughs> that I just um, wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything because this video is very special to me. Today, I'm going to talk about the number one lesson that I quickly learned as an orphan. This lesson is discipline. I'm sure maybe you have seen a lot of orphanage horror movies and I will tell you that no <laughs> no those are not real um, I'm sure a lot of kids do struggle in an orphanage setting I mean that's normal but for the most part I would say they are not haunted and they are actually pretty safe and um, in the setting where I was in the orphanage that I grew up in, um, safety, of course, was the number one thing. Um, <laughs> but yes, going back to discipline, you probably have noticed that maybe in some movies, I actually have not seen that many orphanage horror movies, but I've seen clips and you one of the biggest myths is that they are very very strict and i am here to tell you that is true that is at least in the orphanage that i grew up in it is very true imagine having a classroom full of kids anywhere between 20 to 40 kids and managing those kids and you are the only caregiver and there needs to be discipline hundred percent without discipline good luck <laughs> even with discipline good luck so i would agree that um the smith is definitely true but i would also say that I very quickly learned how to love discipline and how it later has become an advantage and something that I could use to get me to where I am in life today and the success that I've seen. So to help you demonstrate exactly what discipline has meant for me in an orphanage um, I wanted to walk you through quickly through my day to my typical day um, and how I've seen discipline roll out in my orphanage life so first of all every day is about the same all the kids know what to expect we know when to wake up we know when we are supposed to go eat, we know when school starts, and we 
know what we do after school um, and how we prepare for nighttime. So I honestly believe that that structure is so very necessary for any child, to be honest. Um, and that's what we that's what we had in our orphanage. And so, like I said, the very first thing when we wake up, we we don't negotiate, we don't argue with our caregivers. We just know that this is the way it is, and we do it. And we know if we don't do it, then there will be consequences. And um, so I'm just trying to gather my thoughts because there's just so much that goes into discipline. So the first thing, you wake up in the morning, you make your bed. You might be like, really? Like, I know that when I moved to US, honestly, I didn't make my bed every day. I just did it. But in Ukraine, you make your bed and you make it right. Yeah. <laughs> when I say it has to be perfect, it has to be perfect. You're like, what do you mean by that? Well, like hotels, you know, when they make their beds and they look like sharp and to the point and your pillow is, I don't even know what the, what the word is, like flushed or bluffed, I don't know that word, but yeah, we had covers, so we make our bed, it had to be to the point, and every day we knew that that's what we had to do, after we make our bed, we get ready for school, we, every day, without fail, and I kid you not, we cleaned our apartment, and I mean like, not just like tidied up things, right? Put things away. I mean, sweep the floors, mop the floors, <laughs> water the plants. We had so, so many plants. I grew up with a lot of plants. So water the plants, dust everywhere, all the shelves. <sighs> How did we do it? I don't know. But the, the expectations were so high. And the thing with discipline is we had our caregivers that would check everything we did. So it's not like you could get away with things. If you didn't clean the bathroom and it wasn't done the way, the right way, you get it done and you don't go to school or there will be consequences, you get it done because they will check and they always checked. And so I very quickly learned to do it right the first time. And if the plants need to be moved in order to get the dust back there, you move the plants. If the couch needs to be moved to sweep underneath there, you move the couch because when they move the couch and there's still dirt underneath there or dust bunnies, mm-mm. You're not going to eat that day. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, of course. But to some extent, it's very true. They will check. <clears throat> they will come after you. And they are very consistent. So the discipline is honestly on point. Because consistency is everything and they were very consistent so then we go breakfast i'm just not gonna go too into deep into my day i will make another video but another thing we go through our day school about three o'clock we get out of school and we have to clean our classrooms <laughs> now this was you know 10 years ago but i mean ukraine is way behind <laughs> marker boards that doesn't exist yet in ukraine we had chalk boards so imagine being in a classroom where you have a chalk board right and you're writing all day on this board and the chalk falls right on the floor now our floors are not tile they are hardwood floors but the old ones 
So there is lots of cracks where the wood, the chuck falls, right? And we have to mop the floors every day. So imagine mopping a floor with water, right? Because we didn't have swiffers. That doesn't exist in Ukraine. You just have a rag and water, a bucket of water. Imagine mopping the floor and the chuck just goes everywhere. The floor is worse than when you started because instead of just being in cracks, now it's everything is white. It's horrible. But you gotta get that floor looking woody. You gotta get it back to wood. You can't have a white floor the next day you go to school. No. So you gotta do it. You gotta work. And every day you know what to expect. And they will come check. So you gotta get it done. So the moral of the story. Discipline is the number one lesson I learned because they always checked on us. And if not, there were gonna be consequences. You know the biggest consequences of all? It's not getting hit or slapped. The worst consequences of all is another to-do list. So let's say I didn't get the floor cleaned right. Guess what? Now instead of just the classroom that I have to clean, I have to clean the whole second floor of my school. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> they add more tasks. They add more cleaning tasks. So I've been cleaning my whole <laughs> life. So I have very quickly learned that when you do something and you know that it's time to do it, you don't argue and you do it the best way you can because in the end, it will save you consequences. Little things such as making your bed in the morning to bigger things like cleaning a classroom or getting ready for school. Do it right the first time because everything affects everything in life. And my mentality today is that if I didn't push the couch to sweep under the couch, I am only cheating myself. I am only not being honest with myself, right? Because I know that I didn't get the task done the right way the first time. And yes, although they would come check for me, the older we got, the less they wanted to argue with us, right? I mean, teenagers, good luck dealing with those ones. So it just, it just became like, a philosophy that I have for myself that I know when I don't do the task the first time or I just put it off I'm only cheating myself and that I believe is what dif discipline is is when you have that thought come into your mind and you know you're supposed to do it instead of putting it off procrastinating or not doing your best just do it the best you can the first time because you know that that behavior will rob you of all other achievements in life, right? Because only you know and only your subconsciousness knows that you didn't do your best, you know, or you cheated. And okay, so to wrap this up, I just want to finish with a quote that I found about discipline and just tied it all up. It says, discipline is the constant awareness of the need for action and a constant act by us to implement that action. If our awareness and implementation occur at the same time, then we begin a valued sequence of discipline activity. Now, there's the other side of discipline. If there is a considerable time that passes between the moment of awareness and the time of our implementation, then it is called procrastination. The voice within us says, get it done. Discipline says, do it now. 
and do it to the best of your ability. So I just, <clears throat> not only did, not only did there was a lot of things, a lot of activities to be done in an orphanage setting because lots of kids, lots of work to do. And in a way, I think that's how they kept us busy. That's how they were able to manage us, right? If we were cleaning, we were doing something and maybe it was easier for them to supervise us. I don't know, maybe they're just smart like that. But since there was a lot of activity to be done and the awareness for it, right? We knew exactly at what time we needed to clean. We knew exactly at what time we needed to be somewhere. And so that discipline was always reinforced, always in place, always supervised and reinforced. So I had no choice but to have discipline. And I honestly think that that's, you know, you can't put a price on that and I am very grateful although I have complained so much when I was cleaning and I was trying to get away without cleaning or without obeying you know in the end I'm just really grateful that um, that's one of the lessons that I was the biggest lesson that I was taught in the orphanage and yeah, I use it to my advantage now, but um, yeah, if you have any questions about the orphanage or about discipline, maybe what other, <laughs> you know, examples I could give or other disciplines that were enforced upon us, let me know, comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. I will be posting more and I... Hope you have a wonderful day and stay disciplined. <laughs>